guys, what's good? Hype here. Tonight, we are taking a look at Chronology. Now, just listen to the music. Oh, this is so beautiful. I had to turn it down a little bit because I, I gotta get my words out. Once I finish that, I'll turn my I'll turn my audio back out. You guys can hear the music just fine, but... I was listening to this before I started the review, and oh, it is so beautiful! Right off from the start. Just this music right here. Awesome. Um, anyways. Back to my original train of thought. Chronology is um, currently on Steam. You can only get it on Steam right now. Brought to you by Osao Games. It is actually their very first game approved through the Steam Greenlight program, so grats out to them. I, I've been... I looked at it, and this is a beautiful game so far. So, and we're, I'm, I have high hopes for this one. Um, currently, regular price is $9.99. Um, currently on sale through the end um, through the 19th for $7.99. So if you guys like this game, um, hit up Steam as soon as you can. You've got until the 19th. Pick it up for two dollars off. It's worth, it may be worth it. We're gonna see. Um, other games that they've made. Um, they're actually a mobile publisher. They've had Word Vegas, Sheep Mania, and Pixeline and the Jungle Treasure. So with that being said, let me bump my audio up a little bit more. Get some of this goodness in my headset. And let's go. So, chronology from what I've seen from the videos, it is, it's a puzzle platformer game that deals with time travel. That has an old, an, an older gentleman. Once upon a time. I'll, I'll shut up for now. From now. Our society was built on the vapor, dispensing from the underground. It powered every machine in the metropolis, kept us moving forward. But in our desire for progress, we abused its power. I was there when the world ended. I let it happen. So I'm, I'm guessing this is our main character, the guy who let the world end. So he is the inventor. And he has an assistant. Which... I, I thought it was kind of random, but it's a snail, which is kind of... You'll see, you'll see. Alright, so let's... Oh! I wake what up happened? Knees. How long have I been lying here? I try, but don't remember anything. I have to find out where I am. Okay. Controls are extremely responsive. Always a good thing. So aged. Aha, okay. Jump! Oh my, what is that? What is this place? I don't know. Okay. Alright. Okay. Jump! Quick! What's that ticking? Sounds like a clock running backwards. It's a box! Okay. Let's pick this up. Yeah. Yeah. That device. That's where the ticking is coming from. Okay, what I it invented this. I wonder if it works. B. Oh! Oh, okay. My time is unraveling around me. Ooh. So, with that little clock that we just picked up, so we can go forward and back in time. It's a set point, and it looks like... Okay, yeah, there you go. So you have time elements that are there and not. Now, I am curious if there is a limit on how much you can do this. Okay, no, that, that's bad. Okay, my bad, my bad. Okay, jump! Okay, so we're gonna go across. Okay. Oh, this is so cool! Okay, wait, wait. Oh, there we go. And we 
go back in time. So does this affect that? It, I honestly don't recall if that was still there. My bad. Okay. Oh, this is so cool! So this is a lot of... Oh, no! <laughs> I almost fell off. Jump! Jump! So I, I kind of have to watch out where I, I go back in time. Because there may not be ground underneath me. That is good to know. Alright. So, initial thoughts about the game. It is a very beautiful game with gameplay. It, it's a simple it's a simple twist. Sort of there's maybe I can find some humans around here. There's no shooting, there's no guns, no nothing. It's as simple as going back and forth in time. And how would I And figuring out puzzles that way. He is extremely agile for an old man. More crates. There is a time and a place for everything. Ah, so we can... Oh, I see. So if we're holding on to something, it keeps its properties going in between time. But if we put it down, it changes. That's cool. So, load, loading screens, there's not a lot of them. It's pretty much it loads the entire level. And once you complete it, that's when you get load screens. So there's no stuttering throughout the game, which is great. Levels are... It's Pretty nice and simple. I can't say that I missed it. There should be a bridge up ahead leading to the city center. Okay. Please step aside What's up, yo? So the city is on a curfew. A rogue alchemist in the lower quarters has put the city in a state of emergency. I hope we're not too late. There's only one Look, I have a talking out. snail. Okay, well, we're gonna. Let's go. I oh, know. Maybe I should put the snail down here first. Come here. Ha ha. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, nothing there. Jump. Come here. Flushing fluid waste here. Okay, jump across. Yeah, boy. Huh, how will we get across there? Ah, you're a bridge. Okay. So And we can't do anything there. Actually, we don't even need to. Snail, come here. All right, let's go. Take a leg, snail. The city center is right ahead. All right. So let's watch this short little cutscene that we got. We searched the metropolis and made our way to the city hub. From here, we could find a way down to the lower quarters. That's it. That okay. That one wasn't as slightly suspenseful as the others. We just okay. We're we're heading down. But you know what, guys? That this is a perfect place. This place. Not far from here, there's an elevator going to the lower quarters. If that's really where you want to go. Great. Of course. That's where we're going then. But yes, guys, this is a perfect place to end the review right here. Um, once again, this is Chronology. Um, currently picking up on Steam by Osao Gaming. Once again, congratulations for their first greenlit game on Steam. Um, my thoughts about it, the soundtrack, the music is beautiful. It complements this game perfectly. Um, visuals, 
The game itself is beautiful. Look at this. The environment, the background isn't... The background is eye-catching, but it doesn't take away from the main experience of the game. It, it goes, it complements it perfectly. Um, just having to go through puzzles, like going back and forth through time, it's... It's an innovative puzzle game. I I like it. I'm very impressed by it. Um, let's see. Things that I did not like. Um, very few and far in between. I mean, we had that... That one small crash that happened. Um... There's honestly not much that I can think of. I mean, I'm trying to think about it. I'm trying to look for the bed. It's not happening. I mean, I'm I'm very entertained by the characters, both the inventor and Snail. They have a quirky little chemistry that they complement each other very nicely, you know? It's not all just like a, a happy-go-lucky relationship between the both of them. I mean, you guys saw just a little while ago the inventor was getting kind of irritated at the Snail. And that... It reflects in how some this city is falling apart. Some relationships can be, you know. It's they're cool with each other, but they also annoy each other. I mean, but really, that's the thing that I liked. Um, I honestly can't think of anything that I I don't like. Yeah. I mean. The game's controls are extremely responsive. There's no lag um, or on anything. It, it handles nicely. There's it's a beautiful soundtrack. Soundtrack. Yeah. Um, overall, if a puzzle platform type of game is your thing, this is it's perfect. I mean, you cannot go wrong. With a game like this, I mean, you're gonna be extremely, extremely happy. Rating, I, I give it. You know, I'll say, I'll say a four out of five. It's a, it's a definite buy. It is a definite buy. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for checking out the video. Um, and until the next time, I'll see you guys later.